To open the software package, double click on the EL Wi-Fi software icon which is now on your desktop. To configure a sensor, click on the Setup Sensor button and follow the on-screen instructions. Use the USB lead provided to connect your sensor to your PC. Connect the micro USB to the port on the bottom of the sensor. To access this, you will need to remove the rubber bung. Then insert the standard connector into the USB port on your PC. The software will immediately start searching for this connection to be verified. You'll soon see the connected message. The sensor will then immediately start to scan for available Wi-Fi networks within range. This may take several seconds. Select the network you wish to use by clicking on it within the table. If your network is not secure, click on Connect. However, most networks are secure, so you'll be asked to enter the password. This is case sensitive. You may wish to tick Show Characters, so you can easily spot if you make a mistake, and Remember Password, if you have several sensors to set up. Then click on Connect. The connecting pop-up screen may take a few moments, but you'll then see the connected message. Your sensor, PC and router or access point are now all communicating with each other. Click Next, which takes you to the general settings page. First, enter a unique name for the sensor in the box. Second, select if you want data in centigrade or Fahrenheit. Third, select the sample rate. This will set how often the sensor will take a reading. Fourth, select the frequency of the sample transmission rate. This sets how often data will be transmitted from the sensor to the PC. To save battery power, we advise that you allow the sensor to accumulate readings before sample transmissions. For example, for due diligence purposes, you may need to collect data every one minute, but only need to view this data every hour, in which case you'd select a sample rate of one minute and a transmission frequency of 60 readings. Click Next to take you to the Temperature Alarms page. If you wish the sensor and software to display an alarm when a temperature reaches certain levels, you should turn one or both of these alarms on. For example, you may wish the low alarm to be set to 15 degrees. This is done by selecting the on button and the figure is then selected using the sliding scale or the drop down box. If you do not wish an alarm on, just select the off button. The alarm hold feature, if selected, will set the sensor to display the flashing alarm bell symbol on the LCD until alarm history is cleared manually or via software. Click next and repeat the process for the humidity alarms if required. Then click next to save settings. This may take a few moments. Your sensor is now configured and set up to your Wi-Fi network. Click next to be prompted to disconnect the USB lead. In future, you'll be able to adjust sensor settings wirelessly without a physical connection. Click next. You can now position the sensor in the location you wish to be monitored. There is a screen on the sensor which tells you if the sensor is in range of the selected Wi-Fi network. Press the button on the sensor three times and this will take you to the signal strength screen on the LCD. If you have coverage, the Wi-Fi icon will appear in a solid state on your sensor LCD. The number on the LCD relates to the signal strength. 10 is optimum coverage, 1 is low coverage. If there is no number, just two lines, or if the Wi-Fi icon is flashing, 
This means there is no Wi-Fi connection and you need to move the sensor into range of your Wi-Fi router or access point. Click Finish to complete the setup process and be taken to the software homepage.